Okay, so I've had this concept for this idea for a little bit of time now, is you have the Osmo Pocket 3, which has great stabilization, has great tracking ability, and the active track, and it's awesome because it's tracking you as a subject or any of your other subjects. But I wanted to take active track and tracking your subject up just one more notch, especially if you're filming yourself. Right now is if you have the Osmo Pocket 3, you could have it on a tripod and it can track you, but the problem is it's staying static in place. It's staying static in place and it's just filming and rotating this way and that way while it's just in one spot. But what if this can actually pan and move with you and rotate at the same time as if somebody's walking with it naturally like that? So I've got this concept that I've been thinking about here. I've got this portable electric dolly and what if I put this on the ground and I put the Osmo Pocket 3 on top of it? Okay, let me introduce you to everything you need right here. We have the Osmo Pocket 3. There it is there. And also we're gonna put the tripod attachment on it underneath. So we have that ready. We have this portable electric dolly. I'll have a link to it in the description. It is an Amazon affiliate link. So if you click and purchase through it, it does help me support this channel, but also uh, it doesn't cost you anything. So how this portable electric dolly works is it can go forward or backwards and you control that by this button right here. It's electric and you can control up to three different speeds. But say instead of a straight line, you want it to curve. What you do is you turn these in and then it starts to curve that way. This is the part with the motor right here on this side. Okay, so this attachment I'm gonna put on this thread here. And then what we'll do is we'll screw on our Osmo Pocket 3. And there you go, there's our rig. Okay, the first shot I'm gonna do is kind of like, if you ever seen like Top Gear and you have that sideways pan shot as somebody's talking and walking, I'm gonna tap this speed button to go to two dots so it's not too fast. Push the button to start it. And now I feel that motor going and you can see it's gonna be moving that way. Okay, before I get started, I'm gonna double tap my screen to active track me, set this down, and let's see how this works. So this is active track on the dolly. It's on the ground right now. And the, the plane that I'm on is pretty flat right now. There's not really much of a slope, but this is how it looks. And also, it almost looks like somebody's walking and panning. I don't know how well this is doing right now, but that's how it looks from the ground. You could also change the tracking ability as well. Okay, that was a great test shot, but for one, it always had me in the center of the screen. So I'm gonna change the settings. Right now I have it on face auto detect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that to do dynamic framing. And this is a rule of thirds thing. And I can use the joystick to set my tracking point. And I'm gonna set myself in there in that rule of thirds. Okay, active track is enabled and it has me in rule of thirds here. So let's try this again, and now I'm rule of thirds. So now you'll see I'm always gonna be to this side of the screen here. Imagine there's a dope supercar right here. I'm on top here, and I'm talking to the camera as it's panning across from me. It's a little high though, isn't it? So I could change that track and have me in the lower area. Okay, so you'll see here the active track dots here. If I move my joystick, it'll change to different rule of thirds areas. And since I had it in the middle, it had me pretty low on the screen. So I bet if I change it to this top one, that'll have it better proportioned. And that'll be like where my head is at right there since it's tracking my head. I put my head right in the middle of the screen. So we'll do that. But also at the same time, this made it too low to the ground. So I'm gonna throw on this Insta360 invisible selfie stick to prop this up a little bit more and see how it goes. Okay, as I do this, I want you to take note of a few things. Let's take this off. We want this to be centered as much as we can because of the weight. This is risky, so use it at your own discretion. It can tip over, because it has. So what I'm gonna do, I'm taking this off here, and what you'll see is there's two different holes here. What I wanna do is do, use this hole instead of this one, and this one will be more centered to gravity. And at the bottom of my Insta360, I've attached this double-sided uh, quarter-inch 20 thread, and I can screw that onto there. And now we'll prop up the camera here as well. Okay, here's our rig right here. We've got this tracking dolly in the bottom, I'll keep it straight. So we won't curve it, we won't curve around like this. What I'm gonna do with this shot is kind of be walking towards the camera a lot like this and have the camera moving backwards and have this track me along the way. So also with this, we can make this taller. So that's how tall it is now, which is a decent height. I mean, it's better than straight on the ground. And then I have this on here. So let's check out how the shot goes. Let's go speed at one dot. I'm gonna press this to start it. Okay, have the electric dolly set to full speed. I have this dynamic tracking set to my face. And then I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna hit record. I'm gonna set it down and it's gonna wobble a little bit at first. Hopefully it's stable. 
But this is how the shot looks with somebody backing away and it's tracking me at the same time. So if I move, this camera will track me and also it's moving, it's going backwards. You'll see from the footage here that it's actually kind of wobbly, but hopefully there's some sort of stabilization in there that can hopefully fix that wobble. But that is the shot. Let's see how far back I could get. So now I don't even need to be the one moving. It looks like somebody is literally there filming me. It's moving across and I don't have to move. But if I start walking, it also track me as, as if I did have a real person filming me on camera. And imagine my supercar right here, Top Gear America style. But I do want to give this caveat that this thing is wobbly. It can fall, so use it at your own risk. But I don't know, how does this footage look? I'll let you be the judge. It's kind of cool. This is kind of taking like personal filmmaking to the next level with filming yourself. Okay, so that's how I think you can film yourself with this rig right here. Osmo Pocket 3 plus Insta 360 invisible selfie stick plus this portable electric dolly. This is like brands upon brands upon brands. It's like if you were like an Adidas hoodie with Jordans, it just doesn't go, but it could work in the sense that this could work as well. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I hope you found value in this. And if you did, please like, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and good luck filming yourself. Do you have any other tips of how we can improve this? Um, I have some ideas, but I wanna know your thoughts as well. So thanks for watching. Peace.